What is up everybody? Uh, Mende is back again with uh, another video. This time, you know, I was thinking about the past year a bit before my next step fight. You know, it's already 2023. And uh, in my mind, uh, the year 2022 went pretty well. Many big super match wins for me. One of them is uh, Oleg Dorian, which we will take a look at now. But uh, even without him, I, I beat quite many guys like Nicholas Nanestad, Philip, Fritz, uh, Tom Holland, uh, who else? I'm sure there are a couple more. All of them are bigger guys, some, sometimes like 15 kilo or more bigger. So. Um, Buff tournament, uh, Buff Worlds didn't really go that well, but uh, it's another format and I, I hope I will do better next time. Somehow I remember I was a bit ill again and um, just didn't uh, perform at my best. But yeah, overall it was a good year and uh, hopefully I will continue doing well during this year. Uh, the guy from Kazakhstan, Nurdolet Aydarhan, who I'm facing at East versus West, is pretty dangerous. So I'll have I'll have to bring my best performance, which I think I'm on track on delivering. But yeah, let's take a look at one of my um, fights last year with Oleg. Oleg did so well um, at WAF. I think he got. Uh, second place maybe even on both arms um, 80 kilo class so he was really close to becoming a world champion in a higher class so um, and when he faced me I knew that he was also bringing a, a very good shape so let's just see how it went I'll try to comment on some of the details so yeah, round one very lucky kind of quick pin um, I was extremely happy about it because Oleg is such a beast, so much power. Um, you never know, maybe you will just be outclassed, right? So that first round somehow brought my confidence a bit up because like, okay, okay, I'm, I'm in the game. That's what I was kept thinking. And round two, uh, of course, Oleg is one of the guys who can... Uh, Flop wrist. He's you know he's losing his wrist, but he's fu still fully in the match. It's not like he's losing any power. He's quite comfortable. That uh, he can fight in that position. So that's where we m my troubles begin. You know, I'm trying to finish and cannot finish anymore. And then I'm wasting like maybe I could have pushed a bit harder, but I'm wasting so much power at the end of that movement. If it's that close um, to the pad, I'm really wasting much more energy than Oleg. So I had to come up, I had to um, stand up a bit. But then uh, in this position, I'm already, already too low. Uh, my, uh, my forearm is way too horizontal. So now again, Oleg is just, um, it's in, he's in a winning position, like he can really outlast me every single time but again I was just trying to see what happens and yeah he was happy about that win so 1-1 one, one, uh, you yeah after seeing such a fight myself let's say if it wasn't me I would already guess that Oleg wins because normally yeah top roll versus press floppers press it's just a bad matchup, and then Oleg uh, successfully getting the job done on the second during the second round. It's all the it's really looking good for him. But let's see how did I manage to come back? I didn't l watch this video for quite a while, so I don't really remember what happened exactly. But I I just remember that this whole fight took like 45 minutes. Probably one of the most exhausting matches for me. Uh, okay, so round two, you see I'm trying to, I don't want to allow Oleg to bring me into that horizontal position, I'm trying to stay as vertical as I can, and then little by little I'm trying to climb into his uh, hand and fingers, 
but I'm telling you I didn't feel good at all I felt like it's like a, I'm just holding on to some string and it's barely holding so really didn't feel good at all yet but at the same time being staying in a bit more horse, uh, vertical position was better so he pushed my elbow twice I think so it's 2-0, two 2-1 zero, two um, round 4 yeah I can see I'm trying to push sideways as much as I can just to stop him stop him somewhere in the middle I don't want to allow him to drag me down too much so here same thing just barely barely managing to hold because it's really not easy it's the pressures on the elbow joint is quite um, dangerous it feels dangerous doesn't feel comfortable at all because he's isolating some some very small point into in my elbow and he's putting all the pressure on it also I'm using my biceps a lot more he's just using his frame But here, little by little, I'm starting to climb higher. And I'm starting to apply a bit more pressure. Luckily, he feels like he's also getting tired. It's not only me. Like, we are both going down in power a bit. And you see, I'm trying to press, but I feel like my elbow is going to go up. So it's funny, but it what worked was flipping my own wrist and giving it away. That's what worked. I couldn't do it without uh, flopping. 2-2, two, two, round 5. So here I'm getting a bit more confident because I feel like, okay, he's getting exhausted as well. I managed to get a win, like a legit win, uh, by pressing him down, so... But, I would, you know, both of us, we were in such a bad, con I mean, bad condition after these couple of matches because it takes so much energy out of you. Mm. In between rounds, we were trying to breathe and uh, like move the blood around as much as we could, but um, it's almost pointless. And here, yeah, as lo as soon as I lose that vertical angle, as soon as my forearm becomes horizontal, it's just so tough. It's just biceps, isolated biceps versus frame. So here you can see I'm even going into like a hook. I'm not even toppling anymore because I'm almost like, I can see I cannot do it in that way. But I have maybe a bit more fresh uh, inside muscles. So I, and I am able to just hold all like inside, like in a hook, it's closed, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good and I'm feeling, at some point I feel like, oh, he's, he's losing all of his power. So here he's just running away, trying to slip away but gets an elbow foul so uh, yeah apparently after using my top roll for a while I can still transition into a hook move which then maybe maybe after a while we are me and Oleg are a bit more equal you know so I can I can do something to him inside as well yeah I was doing something weird here but luckily got the win so last round round seven it's so scary because all of these elbow fouls we have to be extremely careful cannot uh, and here I think I made a small jump but okay last round one foul on me um, I, I, j I got into a comfortable position and I was okay I was happy I was just trying to be slow and um, careful here because you know, you never know, maybe Oleg will start doing something like he's doing it now. And then little by little I felt like, okay, the press is gonna work. And luckily I didn't elbow fall in any way, so it's a nice, really nice win. And what's what's even more interesting is that um, afterwards we, we were supposed to do another match on the left. May, uh, I think the, the plan was to um, run another super match and then we would come back and do the left hand match 
but uh, both me and Oleg, we just we said no, give us more time, give us more time. We cannot. Uh, it would probably be impossible to r go again on the left that soon. So I think they ran a couple of ca uh, categories, like a tournament tournament format categories, and and then we did the left hand match. But Oleg was still not recovered. I think he spent the whole time sitting in the car somewhere and just like saying he cannot do it. And I felt that like uh, the left hand uh, was really affected. Somehow I recovered quickly because well not quickly, I not fully, but I recovered more because maybe I'm just you know uh, I don't know how to explain it. The less muscle you have, maybe you just recover more. Oleg has so much muscle. Um, I, maybe he used more energy and I maybe I, I used more like joint and tendon strength to get that win on the right hand so I recovered a bit more and then the fight on the left hand was uh, so much easier for me just because Oleg was just completely done even though you know he didn't do anything before on the left but his left was also just I guess the energy levels were just down he couldn't perform anymore so yeah that was an interesting um, trip to uh, Manchester I believe yeah so one of the good performances last year hopefully we can start this year in, a, in the same way uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video guys subscribe like see you next time cheers mm.